Good morning. I'm Valley Anderson. Today is Friday, September 3rd. Welcome to Sunrise with Dr. Serge Akana. Dr. Akana is a servant of the underserved and an advocate of this launched post-incarceration Juvenile Justice Reformation Act initiative, which is also known as the Returning Youth Initiative. This initiative assures youth that are released from incarceration have the ability to create a self-sustaining productive life for themselves. How are you doing this morning, Dr. Kana? Good morning, Valley. Thank you for asking. I'm doing fabulous. Can't complain. Today is Friday, last day of this week, September 3rd. You know what? Do you, do you like eating on Fridays, Valley? Of course. I like to eat every day. <laughs> Oh, wow. Well, I like to eat more on Friday because that's like the starting of the weekend and I love food, especially because I am a vegetarian, you know, I love to have something that provides you a lot of protein, especially in a vegan atmosphere. Well, I'm going to bring today's news bite that we have a wonderful, wonderful restaurant in DeKalb County. And the name of the town is, uh, trying to see what's the name of the town, um, Somerset or something? I forgot. Anyway, it is in DeKalb County. Uh, that is, you can say, suburb of uh, Atlanta. Uh, and there's a wonderful restaurant called Mason Super Dogs. Well, they, so they serve both veg, uh, vegan hot dogs and beef hot dogs. So, and guess what? I see you already started the picture there. This young man is the owner of that restaurant. He's one of the youngest owner of a restaurant in Georgia. He started this at the age of 11 in 2017. But officially, the building which you see in the back, officially that brick and mortar building, he opened up his own brick and mortar restaurant on October 20th, I believe, or 17th, sorry, October 17th in 2020 with his sister who is 22 years old as her, as his business partner. So what message do we give to these young adults? that when you have a passion to do something, you can do it. You can do something good. He started this journey when he was 11. And now look at him, he's 15 in this year, he's going to be 15 and he is a successful business owner as a restaurant owner. Does that give something to you, Valley? Yes. I mean, it's definitely an inspiration to all. Age doesn't define anybody's talents or true qualities. So it's awesome that he he sought after what he really wanted and, and made it happen for himself and his family. Excellent. That's that's the message we would like to give to everybody. And he opens up his restaurant right after the high school classes are done so that he's, uh, he can have the high school students, either they come and work with, uh, with him in the restaurant or they could be a customer, so, you know, but yes. And he is homeschooled, he's not dropped off. He does homeschooling and he is getting to his high school diploma uh, because he just started high school because he's 15. And this is really, you know, so young adults, you all can get inspiration from this Mr. Wright, young man who had a passion to start his own restaurant and could do it. And he did it. So thank you very much for listening to this wonderful news by today. And Valley, I think there is something exciting. I, I could see from your 
face, you want to share something to the audience about what national day is today? Yeah, today is National Lazy Moms Day. So oh, wow. for all those hardworking moms out there, give yourself a day off, get a pedicure or some ice cream if you're like Dr. Kana, and <laughs> just relax a little bit because yeah, make sure all the moms time. make sure while you're relaxing, all the moms please get ice cream and send it to me. Because that's part of the relaxing process, right, Valley? Oh, <laughs> 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 is it now well, why, why does moms have to relax they don't do any hard jobs oh dr khanna that was a bad statement uh-oh so no. are you, are you, moms are you are telling me that all moms whether they're stay at home or if they are working moms it is around the clock duties so i know i'm yeah. just kidding yes you know i do respect i do salute every mother in this earth because they have a huge responsibility and accountability and 24 seven task while raising a kid from the time is born. So absolutely. And I miss my mother and I'm sure Valley, I am, I'm sure that you are a mother. So you know how challenging it is from the day one, the baby is born till the baby is set and have his own life, correct? Mm -hmm. So definitely, I don't know how mothers can get a lazy day though. It's very tough, you know, but still, you know, they can they can attempt, like you said, they should go and get uh, a pedicure done or go to, go to a spa or go, you know, go to a beach. Yeah, um, even if it's not the full day, just give yourself even a couple hours, a little exactly. break. Exactly. And kids, or young adults, those who are listening to this, please make sure you don't bother your mom on that on this day, at least for a few minutes. Okay, <laughs> even if not a few hours, but at least for a few minutes, cooperate with your mom, give your mom a break so that she can have a relaxing, lazy mom's day. Well, thank you very much, Valley. I, I really thank you for bringing this awareness to every young adults that how much they should respect their mom and they should cooperate with their mom and they should definitely give them give the mom a little bit of time for themselves it is very important thank you again thank you dr khanna for joining me today for those who wish to know more about this initiative please visit the website returningyouth.com as you all know, we bring Sunrise to you every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, shortly after 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. You can watch us on Facebook, Instagram, or YouTube at Returning Youth or Kana for Youth. Thank you for tuning in. We will see you again on Monday. God bless.